all right guys welcome to this video and in this video we're going to continue on with our api gateway in the last video we added some load balancing functionality um, but we did leave off some other things that we need to change in order to make this work fully so the first thing we need to do is handle the situation in which this service that load balance strategy doesn't exist so if this doesn't exist We'll just get an error because we're trying to read whatever, or it's just going to come back as null and then we won't be able to uh, get the new index or whatever. So let's go ahead and handle that situation. So if we come through here and the service exists, then we need to check if service.load balance strategy um, exists. So we're going to say if not service load balance strategy. So if this doesn't exist, we're going to create it. So we're going to say service dot load balance strategy is going to equal round robin. All right, so now we have that we need to go ahead and write this to our re uh, registry.json file so we can actually have it every time we don't have to worry about um, basically creating this every time we start it up so that way the first time we create it we don't ever have to worry about creating it again so uh, we're just gonna call what is it fs dot write file matter of fact I'm just gonna copy this from down here where we've done it multiple times before so here it goes fs dot write file let me grab that all right, come back up here into where we're doing our check. There we go. So now we're going to write this file error. The only thing we need to change now is the what it actually says. So I'm just going to say, I'm just going to have this really simple. I'm not going to do anything special with this. We're just going to say. I'm going to say couldn't. couldn't write load balance strategy feel free to write whatever you want here this is just what I'm gonna put and then I'm gonna do the same thing here oh no I did this backwards I'm sorry this is supposed to be here so if there is an error then we say couldn't write otherwise uh, matter of fact we're just not gonna say anything otherwise we'll just let it go so all right so if there's an error we'll just say couldn't write low balance strategy in there otherwise we're going to write this file and save the low balance strategy in there so let's go ahead and try this out to make sure that we can get that so if we look here i'm going to erase this low balance strategy save this file and then let me split this so I'm gonna run on the left side I'm going to it's looking a little funny but all right so I'm running the gateway on the left side and then I'm going to curl on the right side just to make sure that this is being created so we're gonna say localhost 3000 slash um what are we doing registry test that is it let's do a paste all right and then hello just all right and as we see this file got rewritten let me pretty print this so we can see and there it goes it added it to the bottom and it added round robin so we now have a low balance strategy in our registry.json file so now that shouldn't run the next time we do our um we, we get a call so so now we're going to go through the rest of this index.json file and we're going to replace the um where we're doing our anything that we do for that instance list so remember before this registry test was just a list of instances so now we need to actually reference this instances inside of this registry test 
for each of the places where this is um, referenced. So let's go in here. We're gonna just gonna start from the top. And as a matter of fact, I think I'm just gonna do a search and I'm just gonna uh, search for service, services actually. All right, so it seems like there's five references to this. So we're just gonna go through um, here. So as we see, we have dot push, but we need to do dot instances now, dot push, because we need to reference that list in a different place now. So let's go to the next one, services, dot instances, dot find index. And then here, services, dot index, I mean instances, dot splice. And then the last one is gonna be dot instances, dot for each. All right, so I went through I made sure that we are now referencing this dot instances before we do any operations on the list. And now that should set everything back up to work with um, the registration and everything. All right, so we have that. And I guess really, that's about it. I think that's all we really need to do. Thanks for watching this video, like and subscribe to the channel and all that jazz and I will see you guys in the next one.